To make the covers for our Hellboy boots, because I want to be taller, because I'm only 5'9", and this guy's probably 6 foot something, we're going to use some regular EVA foam, the same foam we used to create the platform shoes, and we're going to end up with something like this. We're going to start by making a template, just wrapping some plastic wrap around it, and then using duct tape and a marker to mark all of the different shapes I want. I'm going to end up with the back plate, a front like toe piece and then a long piece around the bottom and you can see I put in hash marks and all the cut lines and everything so once you have everything planned out go ahead and remove the template from the boot and once you've got that done you can redefine those templates to be exactly the way you want them and then you want to cut any darts or anything like that that you've made so these templates will sit flat so we can trace them onto some construction paper. And we're going to transfer those over to paper so they'll be easier to work with and won't be as flimsy as they are in duct tape form. And we're going to cut those out and we're going to go ahead and put them on some EVA foam and cut them out with our razor. Now we got our back pieces, our long bottom pieces, and our toe pieces. The long bottom piece is going to wrap all the way around just like this. And then the front, the back plate will actually sit on the back. And then the toe piece will go over the toe. Once everything is all glued, it should look like one solid piece. So we're going to start by uh, seeing where this is going to go. This is going to go like this on the toe. And we know where it's going to go, so we're going to go ahead and sand that. The sanding just gives extra little grooves for the glue to get in there and help grip. Now I'm going to start with doing the toes and I'm adding two light thin layers of barge rubber cement and allowing each layer to dry before I try to connect them. They take about 10 minutes to dry but you can also speed that up with a hair dryer if you wish. You don't want to use a heat gun because heat and barge don't really mix that well. When you're putting your pieces together make sure you're following your hash marks that you put in there and add the pressure you need to make the contact cement work. And we don't want this shiny side so we're going to rough it up with our Dremel tool so we can get that to stick to our toe. Now we've added the glue to the boot as well as the toe piece and we're going to line that up and set it on and add pressure to make sure it sticks really well. You only get one shot so make sure you're getting it on there well. It's really hard to remove something once you start putting it on. That glue is really good. Repeat that for the second boot. And don't be afraid to stretch and bend as you need. And we're going to move on from the toe piece to the bottom piece. We're going to add glue to the one section. Just We're going to work in segments, maybe three segments. So we know where they're going to go. We put it on the boot as well as the foam piece. And now we're going to go ahead and stick them because they've already had the appropriate amount of time to dry. And we're going to put a lot of pressure and stick everything together and make sure any connections are also stuck together. It can get tricky trying to stick several pieces together in different directions. I'm applying heat here just because I found out this really kind of wasn't long enough. But you can kind of stretch it a little bit by applying some heat and doing what I'm doing here. And now that it's stretched to the right length, I'm going to add more glue to do a second attachment and allowing each layer to dry. Doing two full layers. This has been roughed up too, you just can't really tell. And now I'm going to press that on there and apply enough pressure that the contact cement will do its job. We'll finish that up by doing the third segment, paying attention to the tips here where they are going to be touching. We've got to remember that they're going to stick together. We don't want that end to be open. So I'm actually going to stick that all on like that and you'll see you can't always do it perfectly. I have this big gap so I'm going to fill that with DAP. DAP the gap filler. This is Quick Seal by DAP. I use this all the time. It's not really that sandable, but what you could do is use a popsicle stick to put it on like if you were doing drywall filling is the word I was looking for. And since it's not really that sandable, we'll add a little bit of water on the table and use our finger to make it much more smooth and we'll have a whole lot less sanding to worry about later. 
Now that will shrink and you may have to do a second layer, so just keep that in mind. Which I would really recommend doing the DAP uh, caulking at the very end, but I went ahead and did it early. Moving on to the back plate. Again, we're making sure everything is sticking where it needs to be, and once it's done, we're just going to do any touch-ups where some pieces are taller than the others, just to make it a little smoother, fill any gaps with our DAP, then I'm going to cover it with some Plasti Dip and paint it, and we will end up with these nice boot covers just like this.